Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. It is the yearly woodworker gift giving guide, a chance to talk about presents. Let's dive in. Every year on the day after Thanksgiving, I do a gift giving guide. And a lot of these things are gonna be fairly simpler because they're the standard things that you can always get for a woodworker. The whole purpose for this is if you are a woodworker and someone's having a problem getting something for you, you can send this video to them and say, hey, yeah, anything on that video, that would work well. Or if you are looking for someone in your life who's a woodworker, I'll give you some good ideas. And everything I talk about today, there's links to it down below. And of course, the first on the top of every list is clamps. Uh, clamps are one of those things you can never have enough of. My father instilled that into me early in my life. You can always get enough clamps, and particularly hand screw clamps. I love these things. Every time I find them for a decent price, I pick them up. Uh, you really can't go wrong with these. If they are the long pipe clamps or pole clamps, hand screw clamps, you can't go wrong with buying clamps for anyone who's a woodworker. Next, marking gauges. I have probably a dozen of these and I have had times where they are all in use and I would love to have another one because you set it up for a specific mark and you have another one set up for this mark over here. Marking gauges, you can never have enough of. And if you do get a mortise and gauge with two pins, hey, it's two for the price of one. Marking knives. All of us have our favorite marking knife, but I usually have a couple of them in the shop that I really like. A marking knife is just one of those useful tools. Once you actually get into it, you just always are using it. And I usually wish I had another one around the shop because they tend to roll away and disappear. Now for a couple project ideas and other things that are a little bit different. A spoke shave. This is a great tool. Even if the person already has some spoke shaves, you start to collect them. This is the type of thing where you never get enough of them. There's always enough spoke shaves and draw knives out there. And if they are newer to woodworking, getting a few spoke shaves. This one is a flat bottom um, or a round bottom. Honestly, getting the cheaper ones is really not that bad. I have some links down below to ones that are a little more affordable but are great tools. And there are a lot of fun little projects you can do with just a spoke shave. Along that line, a hook knife. These are a lot of fun because if you take a hook knife and a scrap of wood, you can go out and do spoon carving out on the road. And so if you are away from your shop and you're looking for fun projects when you're around other family, then the spoon knife might be just the thing for it. And this is one from Narex, which I really started to fall in love with. This is one of those things where you can whittle just about any time and having a good hook knife is a lot of fun. Now over in the Wood by Right shop, there are strops. Uh, if you have a woodworker in your life, they probably have a strop, but these are one of the things where if they have them, you can give them more. I have six or seven of these around my shop and they are all in use. Because I'll have one sitting over here and I'll have one over there and I have one with my carving set and I have one over there on my sharpening station. Having strops around just makes everything easier and they're relatively affordable and a great way to uh, help out any woodworker in your life. Paste wax. Having a hard paste wax and a soft paste wax for finishing or for rust protection, they, these get used all over the shop and it's one of those consumables that you can always buy more of. So if you have a woodworker and they have some paste wax in the shop, you can get them more and they'll be very happy because they will be using it. And these are the homemade and food safe hard wax and soft wax that I sell in my shop. Along those lines, we do also sell puzzles in the, uh, the shop, and these are a lot of fun. You can bring the whole family in and have a little bit of fun with the woodworking, or shirts and other things like that for sale. So if all of this wasn't enough, then I've also got a couple other options for you. Um, number one, I'll have a link to my Amazon wish list down below. And so this is something that's like a little bit broader than woodworking, but it might give you some ideas of, oh yeah, if he's into that, he might be interested in this as well. And then Tay Tools also has a wish list guide and also has a bunch of things on sale as well. So I'll leave a link to that down below. That has some interesting ideas that are a little different for this, maybe more of the power tool or the hybrid woodworker, but several of them are, are great sales and they're relatively affordable stocking stuffers and things like that that you can get for any woodworker. And for those of you who stuck around to this point in the video, I am saying that this is the first time ever that we are now doing the Cyber Monday sale, which is usually only on Monday. We're doing it now, Friday, all the way through the end of day on Monday. And this is the first time ever the Wood by Right store has put regular products fully on sale. This is not just plans. All plans are on sale 50% off, which you just can't beat. All of the products are also on sale, which is the first time ever I've run a sale on all the products. On top of that, if you can't think of anything else, 
there's also gift cards you can buy in the store. So everything in the store is on sale, which is the first time ever, and it's on sale all the way from today through Monday, which is the first time ever. And on top of all of that, if you still don't have ideas for what to get the woodworker in your life, look down in the comments below. I'm going to say everyone out there, put your wish list in the comments below. And lots of great ideas will be down there. So I really wanted to show there are lots of things that you can get. Even if the woodworker has everything in the shop, you can still get them clamps. You can still get them spokeshades. You can still get them strops. You can still get them paste wax. There are lots of things you can buy for any woodworker and they will be very happy to get it. So if this has sparked a few ideas, uh, let me know those down in the comments below. Also send this to all of your friends who are trying to figure out what to get the woodworker in your life because you're worth it. You're a woodworker and you deserve good quality things for Christmas. On top of all that, I want to say a huge thank you to the patrons, members, people who are regularly making this channel happen. Thank you. Uh, everyone there has been given early access to the Cyber Monday or Friday through Monday deals. And uh, if you'd like to find out more about that, you can click the link down below or click the little join button there and help out the channel. So I think that'll about be it for today. And until next time, have a Merry Christmas. You can never have enough clamps. 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 You can never have enough spokeshaves.